Hey, fun fans, before we get to this Behind the Bumpers video, I want to give a big shout out to our sponsors, PTC and Striker. PTC currently has the Robots to the Rescue Challenge going on where you can earn a share of $7,000 for your team by designing a robot that helps solve a current world problem at onshape.com forward slash robots to the rescue. And Striker is looking for first and fun fans to join their team because they want to help support you in your first journey. Help develop solutions for current and future problems like the new emergency relief bed. Get details on how to join their team at careers.strykr.com forward slash first. Checking here at the Midwest Regional with team number 2451, Ponage. And you're with Colin, Brady, and Evelyn. And we're going to check out some really cool things on this robot. All the way from the intake uh, to the conveyor to the shooter to the climber, Ponage makes great robots every single year here on Behind the Bumper. So let's start out with this uh, awesome intake system here. Run us through the system. We'll start working our way through this bot. All right, yeah, so the intake, we have, uh, it's pretty, we started out prototyping a lot in the beginning, doing a lot of uh, type, just like, configurations, whatnot. We knew we wanted to get the balls off the floor as soon as possible so that uh, we weren't gonna drive over them, get stuck on them. So we have uh, the thrifty bot uh, mechanism wheels here that pull the ball to the center. We have a kicker bar here so that it helps us if we're going at a high speed towards the power cells to keep us from rolling over them. And then uh, the, you know the two grippy wheels here in the center, those pull in when they're when it's lined up uh, to the to our feeding mechanism. Everything's driven off one motor back here. And then um, we have another thing, these two rollers here. So one of them's actually an idler, and that kind of acts as like a differential. So if two balls come in exactly at the same time, this one, in theory, should have more uh, drive on the ball sitting here. So that one will get pulled on in first, and then uh, this, since this is idling, it will uh, stay steady and let the other one in. And we're going to demo some of this off here. Evelyn's going to run us through how this conveyor works, and you'll actually see how some of this intake works as well. So Evelyn, tell us about this conveyor system on your bot. Yeah, so the conveyor is run by two 775s back here. Um, as the uh, power cells go through, there's a belt that pulls them through. And as it goes through, do you, um, do you see these pneumatic uh, cylinders right here? The gates pop up when we have banner reflective sensors. So when, uh, so if you hear that click, gates going up and separating the power cells in our intake so when the power cell triggers our um, banner sensor the power cell the sorry the pneumatic cylinder pops up and that just keeps them separated because it rolls idly as the intake runs so they don't get jammed together let's continue our journey here we're going to talk about the uh, shooter and then wrap up with the climber on the spot as well uh, so for the shooter we did a lot of prototyping with that as well uh, we tested some uh, flywheel shooters, some hooded shooters, and we came to the conclusion that for the package that we wanted a low bot, uh, this was going to be the easiest uh, solution. So um, we did a lot of testing with different wheels, with flywheel or flywheels to add some inertia. Um, it's taken a lot of tuning. It's pretty simple in terms of there's one kicker wheel, pulls the ball up around uh, the inside here, and then uh, you know, get sh shot out via these two rollers. Uh, the other thing is uh, the, the roller down here, this one, this is what gives us most the uh, speed or velocity as we're coming in, and these kind of give it the last push. So if you just have two rollers, we notice you had to really throw the ball in or the power cell to really get the uh, distance necessary. So that's the uh, shooter. All right, we're going to wrap up on this robot, show us some of this climber, hopefully not break anything up here as well too, but you know, that'd be exciting, wouldn't it? So but let's wrap up, show us uh, more about this cool climber. Yeah. So at the last 30 seconds of the match, Colin will line up underneath the generator switch, and then when he's lined up, he'll deploy it. So go ahead and deploy it. So that'll come down. So we have two pneumatic cylinders on it that'll push it out. Once we're in position, we have another two cylinders here that have steel stops in it. So Colin will push another button. Those stops will retract. Now, the constant force springs on it on either side are gonna do most of the work, but we do have one 775 down here that is controlling the weight at which it's gonna go up. So he's going to go all the way up, and once he's all the way up, you'll notice down here that the rope is just going to continue to spin. So it's actually just going to flip around the wheel and keep going. That way with our ratchet and Paul over here, we don't have to flip it. We can just keep going one continuous motion. So then once he's locked on, he grabs, and then we'd winch all the way down. 
Well, this climber is going to be exciting, not only because it looks cool, but I, 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 you know, I thought we might be taking out the whole structure here. But, uh, guys, Ponich, really cool robot. Really, this climber is so cool. And what a great team that they have here as well, too. So can't wait to see as they continue. Great success throughout the entire season. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.